It's Chloe's American Girl Doll Channel. Hey guys, this video is about five things you can do with your doll when you're bored. So number one is take your doll to the spa. McKenna, we're ready for your one o'clock appointment. Okay. Okay, we're gonna put you in your spa gown. It's right here, if you'd like to grab it. Thank you. So McKenna wants the sweetheart braid. So first you need to brush the hair. She already got her hair washed. Now she's going to blow dry her hair. Now she needs to straighten her hair. First she needs to put her hair in braids. So she clipped one side, so she clips the side so it like doesn't mess up, and then she has to start braiding her hair. So let me just start by doing it. Once the braid's all done, you put the rubber band on. So her hair is all done. So it's super cute, so it's like the heart as you can see. So you need to braid it and the ribbons. I love it, it's so good. So that was fun, but the most fun I've ever had is going to Thailand. So this number two is taking your doll on a trip. Standing, grab it, yes, move, yes, on the front, yes, step on the front leg. Boom, swing your leg up, one, two, three, up. Ah. <laughs> That's your play. <clears throat> move further up, move more forward. Now hand on the head, now hand on the head. Okay, move a little bit more, more forward. Yeah, yeah. Hang your leg down, it's okay. Yeah, spread your leg. Can you move Very a little bit more? Oh, she's nice. Yeah. Wait, man. So I got a little wet there when the elephant kind of sprayed me with water in the face, but this adventure you can do without getting wet. So just take your doll on a bike ride. We're in the car and we're using the jump app to find a bike that's near me. They're really easy to find because they're bright red. I'm going to put the doll in the basket. I need to get my helmet. I'm ready to go. the photo because these trees make a really nice background. So number four takes a little more time. So if you have, let's say four hours, then this is perfect for you. 
It's a stop motion. It's so much fun. All you really need is you need the stop motion app. And basically stop motion is where you move the doll a little. So like you go like this. Like this. A little. But with the doll. And it's really hard. But I love doing it with like a friend or something. <sighs> Come here, princess. Oh, you're such a cute little dog. Almost done. And perfect. Now all I need to do is put on my robe and I'm ready to eat breakfast with Maddie. Hey Chloe, I've been waiting for you. Morning Mads, what are you doing today? Do you wanna to go to lunch later if you're free? I have to do some homework first, but lunch would be great. I'm looking forward to it. Do you wanna to go to Cafe Lugia? Perfect. Now that I finally picked out my outfit, all I need to do is do my hair and brush my teeth, and then I'm ready to go. Before I go to Cafe Lucia with Mads, I need to get my homework done. <laughs> Bye guys! Thanks for watching! So the last thing you can do with your doll if you're bored, and this is probably the easiest and quickest, is make a doll room. It's so much fun because you literally only need like a bed and a couple accessories. You can just put a bed there and like blankets and pillows and put like a side table with accessories and then you're done. So the room is empty and I organize everything. And I have this bed, and there's a blue, um, it's gonna be here, and there's a blue blanket. So I have these two main big pillows. So I'm just gonna put it like this, and then I'll just like do that there. And then I love this, it says like angel. And then I have these, so one can go. One can go there, one can go there. So I just feel like you can definitely tell it's a blue room and there's all different kinds of shades of blue. There's light blue, dark blue, kind of like greenish blue. I just really like the bed. Next up is the side table. So the side table is gonna go right here and there's this like kind of like blue, like napkin thing and it just makes it more blue. So the things I have is the phone. This blue um, sunglasses, these blue heart sunglasses. And then there's this necklace. And then these two blue erasers. So I'm guessing she wants places to sit besides her bed because her bed is very full. So there's these two things. There's an outdoor bench that can go right here. And I'm going to put a blue book on the bench if she wants to read it. And then this like spinning blue fuzzy chair. Next up is the shelf. These are the items I had to put in the shelves. So there's this teapot and then these two cups and this one has a really cute straw. I have no idea where I got it, but wherever I got it, I love it. On the top shelf, there are going to be these little like Shopkin toy things that are light blue. bottom shelf there's gonna be this little like blue water gun and then this little like blue bear thing and then this eraser and these two like just like hair bands this like little phone thing she needs a place for dirty clothing so this is all just blue clothing that I found Next, I am going to put this little bath thing. I'm actually going to put it outside because it's kind of getting crowded. Well, it's not a blue dog, which, but there is a blue um, collar. And in here is a little blue um, water bowl or dog bowl. 
And then, um, over here it's just puppy child. And then, if you want, you can have this fat toy. And then, this uh, like little treat. Now, this corner is kind of looking a little empty. So there is this like Bruno dog. And it has a little hanging keychain. Let's see if I can light. There. Then you can play music. And you can put it right here. So if you just take a step back, this looks so blue, especially the bed. And I think the bed is very important if you put a bunch of just that color pillows that you want to make it. Next is one of my favorite parts because I made it. So there's this really cute blue clipboard, and you know I love clipboards for American Girl. And it's like a little blue ombre effect with a blue crayon. And then I actually made that and I like really quickly made it and I really like it. And there's this blue like trash can. And I was like, what if I just make like trash that's like blue? So it's like a bunch of just scraps of paper that has blue. As you can see here, right here, I just literally just scribbled. And then here I just said like blue. You can kind of see it. There's also like dots. And I thought like that would be so cute. And it is really cute. So I'm gonna put it like right here. So if she is drawn and she doesn't like it, she can just throw it away. Now up here, you can't just have it like all blank. We have to have something. And that something is going to be a globe. And I love this because it's actually a pencil sharpener. But it's so cute. So like, wait, let's try to, I'm right there. Somewhere there, right? On the shelf is the blue iguana, and you turn the light on, and it's so cute because it's actually like an, an, uh, a blue iguana that can like come off and stay on that branch, and I really like this. Next on the shelf, there's going to be this blue uh, frame with Lark, who has blue hair. And then there's going to be a gumball machine. I love gumballs. Comment down below. Your favorite flavor. There is this like icy or shaved ice machine. It's like an ice block and it's blue. And then there is a blue icy. So I love the room so far, but there's still more. For the pink basket, I have some tricks up my sleeve. Let's see what's first. Oh, a crunch bar. What else? Oh, a passport. Let's see what else. Another book to read. Fault in Our Stars. A little really cute notebook that says, So what? Who cares? Get a life. Do we have more? Yes, we do. Boarding pass. Last is a postcard. In case she wants to write at night, she can choose a little light by her bed. She is very athletic, so she has her own ice skates. Blue, of course, her favorite color. And then roller skates. So I love roller skating. So comment down below if you do, if you like ice skating or roller skating. I do both. I think I'm better at roller skating. And if she's going out in her roller skates, she'll need a blue water bottle. Last but not least, I have to fill this empty frame. I printed this on the computer. Look how good the frame looks, and I also love the room. So those are my five favorite things to do with my dolls when I'm bored. But obviously there's so many more things you can do with your dolls. So comment down below what you do when you're bored and you have your dolls wrapped. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Bye! It's Chloe's American Girl Doll Child